19th lecture note. The title of this lecture note is Labor Law. We are going to look at this in six aspects. The first aspect, principles of labor law. The second, employment contract. The third, time of work and rest. The fourth, labor wage. The fifth, labor discipline. The sixth, separate categories of employees. Now let us look at the first aspect. Principles of Labor Law Labor law is a branch of law that regulates the procedure for the emergence, operation, and termination of labor relations, establishes the measure of labor, rules on labor protection, and procedure for considering labor disputes. The main source is the Labor Code, that is, Labor Code of the Russian Federation. The principles of labor law are as follows. 1. Freedom of work, that is, there is a right to work but no obligation to work. 2. Parties to labor relations that are initially unequal from a social, from a socio-economic point of view are equalized with the help of pro- prohibitions and guarantees. Prohibitions in labor law Forced labor is prohibited with the exception of the obligation of military service or punishment in the form of forced labor. Discrimination in the field of labor is prohibited. No one can be restricted in labor rights and freedoms or receive any benefits depending on gender, race, skin color, nationality, language. It is prohibited to conclude civil law contracts that actually regulate labor relations. Social guarantees, protection from unemployment and assistance in employment, ensuring fair working conditions, protection of labor rights and freedoms, including judicial protection. The subjects of labor law, that is, the parties to the employment relationship, are 1. Employee, that is, individual who has reached the age of 16. 2. Employer, that is, individual, legal entity. Now let us look at the second aspect, employment contract. An employment contract is a voluntary agreement between an employee and an employer regarding essential working conditions. As a general rule, an employment contract is concluded indefinitely. Fixed terms contracts are concluded in cases stipulated by law for temporary work. If the employer actually allows the employee to perform their professional duties, the contract is considered concluded from this moment. The employment contract must reflect the following essential conditions. Place of work, date of commencement of work, name of the position or employment function, rights and obligation of the employee and employer, characteristics of working conditions, compensation and benefits to employees for working in special condition, working and rest condition, terms of remuneration and social insurance. Termination of the employment contract 1. At at the initiative of the employee, as a general rule, the employee is is obliged to work for two weeks after that he is not a pensioner. 2. At the initiative of the employer, in cases of liquidation of the employer, a legal entity, death of the employer, an individual, reduction on satisfactory passing of certification by the employee, that is for certain provi- professions and positions, gross violation of labor, labor discipline, that is absenteeism, absence from the workplace for no good reason for more than four hours in a row during the working day, immoral act or behavior, intoxication, repeated other violations, that is commissions of a new violation by an employee who has Now, let us look at the third aspect, hours of work and rest. The normal working hours should not exceed 40 hours per week for certain categories of employment. For certain categories of employees, a reduced duration regime is established, that is, 36 hours for teachers, employees aged between 16 to 18, or those working in harmful working conditions. Rest time, the time during which the employee is free from performing work duties and which he can use at his own discretion. The types of leisure time are 
breaks during the working day, that is shift, 30 minutes daily between shift rest from 42 hours, weekends, weekly uninterrupted rest, one to two days per week, public holidays marked in the Russian Federation calendar, annual paid vacation, 28-day calendar days in proportion to hours work if the employee work less than a year. Now let us look at the fourth aspect, labor wage. Wage or salary, that is remuneration for work depending on employee's qualification, complexity, quantity, quality and conditions of work performed, as well as compensation and initiative payments. The salary must be paid at least twice a month. Non-payment of wages is subject to civil, administrative and in certain cases criminal liability. Minimum wage, or that is, the amount of monthly salary guaranteed by federal law for the work of unskilled, unskilled employee who has fu fully fulfilled the standard of working when performing simple work in normal working condition. Employ employers in Russia do not have the right to set salaries below the minimum wage under the threat of administrative responsibility. Now let us look at the fifth aspect, labor discipline. Labor discipline is a certain order of behavior of employees in the production process. For violation of labor discipline, the employer may apply the following disciplinary measures. Rem remark, reprimand, reprimand, dismissal. Dismissal is allowed not for any violation but for gross, directly specified in the law or order, but committed repeatedly. To impose a disciplinary penalty, the employer must require the employee to provide a written explanation of the reason for the violation. For each offense, only the disciplinary penalty may be applied and not later than one month from the date of discovery, not counting the time of the, empl of the employee il illness or vacation. If the employer is not subjected to a new penalty within one year from the date of applying the disciplinary action, he is considered not to have been subjected to it. An employee has the right to ch challenge violation of their rights in court as a general rule within three months from the date when they learn about, the, al about them. For example, to challenge a reprimand. For dispute about dis dismissal within one month. For dispute about non-payment of wages within a year after the expiration of the pa payment period. The employer has the right to apply to the court for disputes on compensation of the employees for damage caused to the employer within one year from the date of discovery of the damage caused, but the amount of compensation is limited to the average earnings of the employee. He is, if he did not enter into a contract on full liability or did not bear it by law. Now let us look at the set aspect, separate categories of employees. Futures of labor regulation as established by the Labor Code of the Russian Federation and other acts of labor, labor legislation in connection with the following factors. 1. The nature and conditions of work, that is, for example, harmful or dangerous. 2. Psychological, psycho, phys, physiological futures of the body, that is, pregnant women, disabled people, and so on. 3. Natural and climatic conditions, for example, work in the far north. 3. Family responsibilities, that is children. 4. Other grounds, that is employers, small business entity, foreign employees, work in certain industries. Peculiarities of regulations of labor, entailing a, redu a reduction of the level of guarantees for employees, limiting their rights, increase their disciplinary and or ma material liability may be established exclusively, exclusively by labor code or in the cases and manner stipulated by them. And with that, we come to the end of the 19th lecture.